Hey everyone, it's Angela here from Cornerstone Auto and today I'm going to show you the 2019 Ford Expedition. Now the Expedition from Kelly Blue Book won the Best Buy Award and it's also continuing its run as the highest ranked large SUV in initial quality by JD Power. There are three different trim levels available in the Expedition. You have your XLT, your Limited, and your Platinum. And all of those are powered by a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine that's gonna get you 400 horsepower. You also have a suite of safety features available on the Expedition, including your 360 degree camera, which you'll find underneath the Ford emblem there. You also have sensors down below, and that's gonna be for your forward collision warning, your lane departure assist your lane collision warning, as well as your blind spot monitoring. You also have your uh, backup camera and your backup sensors available. You also see here that we have the nice chrome accents on the front of the grill for the Expedition. There is another package called the Stealth Package, which allows all of the chrome that you see to be blacked out, which gives it a very aggressive look driving down the road. So like I mentioned, we have those three trim levels. Today we are looking at the Platinum. So we are looking at the top of the trim line so we have a lot of bells and whistles and upgrades on this vehicle, so we'll be able to show you a lot of really cool features. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle here, we do have a nice black on black interior. We did upgrade to the 12 speaker Bang & Olufsen speaker system. And you can see they did redesign the speakers on the Expedition. On the passenger side here, we have a nice black Napa leather seat that is power adjusting. And on the back of the seat, we do have the platinum badging. Then in the center console, we have our SYNC 3 system, and we're gonna be touching on all of that technology shortly. Taking a look at our second row here, this particular Expedition is equipped with the captain seats, which you can get the bench seat. And then in the center console, you will notice that they do have the heated seat buttons for those seats, as well as your climate control and power outlets for those passengers. Now the Expedition does have a third row seats. In order to gain access to the third row, there is a button that is located right on the door here that you push, it slides it open, and then you can slide the seat forward for easy access to the third row. Making our way to the back of the Expedition here, we do have our backup camera located there with our backup sensors. And then you have your hitch and pin connectors down below the cover there. If it's properly equipped, you can tow up to 9,300 pounds. Now, one of the features that you can get with the Expedition is going to be the hands-free lift gate. You'd be able to swipe your foot just below to gain access without using your hands. This particular one isn't equipped though. One of the other really cool features that the Expedition has is going to be the max option. So that is gonna be your extended length option. This particular one is the regular length, but if you get the max option, you get an, about nearly another foot, which is about another 16.9 cubic feet. So you'll have a little bit more cargo space back here. Down below here, you will find a little bit of cargo area as well as your um, jack. And then over to the left here, you see that we do have the option to fold down the seats. So this button here will fold down your third row seats. And then you also have the ability to fold down your second row seats by hitting the two option. So as you can see, it does provide you a nice flat surface to store any of your larger items. One of the other really cool features the Expedition has is you're gonna see it has uh, USB outlets for your passengers. And just in front of that, you do have the buttons for the third row passengers to exit by folding down the second row. Making our way over to the wheels here, this particular option is equipped with 22 inch wheels but there are a variety of options between 20 to 22 inch. We wanna take just another look at the second row here. As you can see, they do have running boards that pop out as you open the door. And then taking a look at the key here, we do have a smart key. So we have your um, automatic start, as well as your lift gate buttons. And then as long as this is within three feet of any of the doors, you can gain access. You do have your blind spot detection located on the mirrors here. And then over to the left, you do have your keypad. Taking a look at the driver's side here, we do have memory seats available for up to three drivers. We do have power folding mirrors. And then to the left of the steering wheel here, this first button that you notice will allow you to fold down the headrest in the third row. That's right next to your tailgate button. And then down below that, you do see we have a button to adjust the pedals. 
Now the driver's side is heated and ventilated with power adjusting. So let's jump on in and check out the inside. Here we are on the inside of the 2019 Ford Expedition. So we are in the Platinum model, so we have a lot of great upgrades and bells and whistles that we get to show you. One of the cool features the Expedition does have is gonna be your panoramic Vista sunroof, which expands all the way into the second row. And then you also have your perimeter alarm. So if you have the windows down and the vehicle locked and somebody goes to reach in the vehicle, it will sound an alarm. You have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And then down below that, you have a little bit of storage as well as another speaker for your Bang & Olufsen speaker sound system. And then above the screen here, you have your uh, downhill descent, the button to turn off your traction control, your lane departure warning, your auto start stop feature, as well as your camera. Now your camera, if you are getting out of a really tight parking space or um, as long as you're driving less than 10 miles an hour, you can turn on your camera to see your surrounding view. If you do put the vehicle in reverse, it automatically turns on the camera for you. So just a couple other views that you do get from the camera. Now we are on the home screen of the SYNC 3 system. So you have your, a little bit of your navigation showing, your radio, as well as the option to connect your device. Here you have your radio button, your climate control, which includes your heated steering wheel, the phone area for you to connect your phone, and then in the apps area, you're able to find mobile apps and customize this for what you're looking for. And then in the settings here, you do have your mobile apps, which is gonna be your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then here you have your Wi-Fi and hotspot. And then over here you have a button for your seat. So this is going to turn on your massaging seats that you have available in the Expedition, as well as allowing you to adjust some of the seating parameters with your lumbar support and things like that. We also are equipped with navigation. With the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, when you plug your phone in, it automatically populates onto the SYNC 3 system. Below here, you do have your hard buttons for your radio, as well as the option to turn off your screen if you wish. And then you have your tri-zone climate control. So you have dual zone for both your driver and your passenger, as well as a zone in back for your passengers. And then you have your ventilated and heated seat buttons. Down here in this little cubby, we have a um, wireless charging station available for compatible phones as well as a couple USB outlets. Now here we do have the automatic transmission with the rotary shifter that does allow some manual shifting with the plus and minus found just below the rotary shifter. You have a variety of drive modes available in the Expedition. You have normal, eco, sport, tow haul, mud and ruts, sand, gravel, grass, snow, and then the normal mode. Um, we also have the option of two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Down below that, you have your active park assist button to turn on and off, as well as your parking sensors. Making our way up to the steering wheel here, you do have your cruise control buttons, and then this button here is for your adaptive cruise control to set the distance between the vehicle in front of you. And then to the right here, you do have your voice commands, your phone connectivity, as well as your volume buttons for your radio. Now taking a look at our driver information center, we are on the My View screen, which is customizable for some of the features you like to automatically see on your screen. We also have our vehicle information, which goes over your trip information, your fuel economy, fuel history, your average speed, navigation, and your start stop features. Then you have your general vehicle information that goes over your tire pressure, your digital speedometer, engine information, and seat belt information. You have the tow haul mode, and then you have your off-road status. And in your settings here, we do have the buttons to go over some of your advanced safety features that are offered in the Expedition. So like I said, we are in the 2019 Ford Expedition. There are a lot of really great features in this vehicle. If you're looking for this to be a daily driver or for a vehicle that you use for work, we do have the Wi-Fi hotspot, as well as the option in the center console to store a computer and even some files. So if you wanna take one for a test drive, if, I have, if you have any questions or if I missed anything, give us a call at 763-441-2300. And don't forget to check us out at cornerstoneauto.com.